about to do another dollar, baby. All right. We got them bag up trailer lights for the new Matic in here. That's his side light. Go on the side of the trailer, stick out like that. Brand new LED lights for the back. Got a couple of them. Been having these lights sitting here chilling. In case one of y'all stole one of my lights off the trailer. I hear brand new LED lights. That's the other one for the other side. So two for the right side, two for the left side. That's for the left side, that's for the right side. So we're gonna be putting those LED lights back on the new Mac trailer. Got a set of brakes down now. That's a set of brakes right there in that green box. We got a hub seal down there somewhere too. We got full slack adjusters. Look like a filter for the Mercedes. Um, what else we got in here? I believe we got new shots in that bottom being down there. Another day, another dollar on this beautiful Thursday. We are back in Nashville, Tennessee. That means we are back talking about trucking. Now, as you know, the Freightliner Classic XL 1997 12.7 series or Detroit series, 60 series, was over at Freightliner being held hostage due to transmission issues not actually related to the transmission though now we just paid that bill it was one thousand six hundred dollars we paid it over the phone so that when i go pick up them keys i can just drive right off okay okay did they test drive the truck they claim they did but did they really we don't know we don't know on the paperwork it said they test drove it but i highly doubt it but you know i'll test drive it i'll test drive it now i call my buddy up at landstar me and Landstar, we, we do great work. I love Landstar. Landstar, me and my agent over there. You know I got my own agent, right? I got my own agent over at Landstar. Told him the situation that I was in. I just paid Freightliners $1,600. $1,600. So I called my buddy over at Landstar. I said, hey. What you got for the $1,600? Cause I just paid Freightliner. He said, yeah, man. The carnival's, you know, the carnival's almost done, Andrew. Matter of fact, it'd be over with uh, this weekend, man. I give you $1,600, man. Go and take it 200 miles up the road. It's going from uh, Clarksville, Tennessee, up to Kentucky, 200 miles. We'll give you $1,600 back. Send that Raycon, buddy. See, that's why I love my guys over at the land to the star. He gonna give me a full refund this week. Fuel going up to four. No, it's not going up. Fuel is at four dollars a gallon. One, two, three, four, 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 four a gallon. How will you survive with diesel prices going up, rates going? down or sideways every which way but upwards do you have a plan andrew made the absolute most money in his career when fuel was the absolute highest it's ever been in history it was at five dollars and like 30 some cent a mile i was making so much money i bought that blue truck eleven thousand cash paid for overhaul caterpillar to get overhauled don't get me started. Y'all Y'all know what I did. So when it comes to how Andrew will survive when fuel is $4, baby, I was surviving when fuel was 530 Okay? Me and Justin Lewis. Both of us made the absolute most money when fuel was the absolute highest. Hell no, freight rates wasn't paying that damn good. We just had a goddamn uh, awesome plan that you ain't gonna never know about. <laughs> it's weird. We had an awesome plan. That's right. Me, Justin Lewis, yeah, we had an awesome plan, baby. Ooh, we, we ain't never gonna get back to them days, boy. We was, the money was rolling in, rolling in. I just wish I had went and bought a house, bought a house. Okay, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so fuel $4. 
drive in, I don't know what drive in looking like. Drive in just taking people out left and right, boy. Drive in, not just drive in, general freight. General freight take you out, out left and right. Boy, I told y'all, y'all stay away from that general freight. That general freight, man. This is why I don't like general freight. You see, every Monday, brand new CDL drivers or brand new people with no CDL, they just got a permit. Oh, they ain't got no permit at all. They ain't got nothing. Brand new. What do we call them? Class D. Is it Class D? When you drive a car, maybe may be different in other states. But Class D drivers are showing up to orientation all around the world every Monday. They're showing up to Prime Meek, ready to lease a truck because they saw your videos on YouTube. They're showing up to Night Transportation, ready to be a company driver because Night don't try to, you know, promote all this shoe shine. That's why they uh, steady buying, you know, buying people out because they don't do nothing foolery. They all cash over there. They, yeah, they, they don't do nothing foolery. They showing up to companies like, you know, Warner, Swift, Pam, etc. Every Monday. Every Monday. They getting a one month of training in. They get their CDL. Or either they going out with a trainer. And what do you think is the first trailer that these brand new CDO drivers are going to pick. You guessed it. The drive-in. The reefer. The flatbed. But more importantly, they're going to go out to that drive-in and that reefer before the flatbed. The flatbed tends to be the trailer they pick the least. You know, but the drive-in? Who? Who? Lee, boy. That's the majority of everybody every month. This Monday coming up? Drive in a whole lot of new, whole lot of brand new drive in drivers. They getting into this trucking world. Why? Because everything outside of trucking, uh, we ain't gonna say everything now. <laughs> it ain't everything, but you know, majority of these people they got they foot on their neck too out there. It ain't just trucking, they got you know, a foot on your neck. It's jobs outside of trucking too. So they, they come in trucking because they heard you can make some money. They did, they, they heard you can make some money. You know, some of them going to take the right route. Some of them going to take the wrong route. Like I said, some of them going to go to Prime Meat. Prime Meat going to do what they've been doing for years. What's that, Andrew? Well, you know, you're going to be in orientation. Now, you came to be a company driver, but by the time you get done with orientation, you'll find yourself over in the leasing line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been doing that for years. You know, I tell people, hey, when they start talking about that leasing, it's time for you to get up, go down the hall to the restroom or something, you know, uh, come back when they finish talking about all that leasing stuff. You know, do yourself a favor. But y'all don't hear me, though. Y'all don't hear me, though. I understand they told you lease drivers make more than company drivers. I ain't found that to be true at all. At all. Not this year. I ain't going win. Not this year, not last year. I can't think of a time in trucking where I thought lease drivers were making more than company. I can't think of one time. Nope, nope, nope. Who? Where? This year? Point to them. Who, who we, what video? What, what YouTube channel? Where? Where they at? Where they at? Looking for them. Where they at? Where they at? Hmm? Where they at? I don't see them. Damn sure I don't hear them. I'm trying to figure out how to lease a truck right now. I don't even know who, who channel to click on. Matter of fact, I only know of one youtuber that's leasing a truck right now i only know of one only one but he took andrew's advice though he went and learned another trailer i see you out there taking andrew's advice i see i i, I see what's going on i hear what's going on you i know you watching this video you're like how, how does he know that one of y'all told him, no, nah, nah, buddy, ain't nobody told me nothing. I support everybody, man. You, 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 you don't know who's watching. You don't know who's watching. What are you talking about? What are you talking? I, got, I got the funds. I, I got the funds, too. What are you talking about? I don't know who's supporting who. Oh, what are these people out here? Anyways, anyways, what am I supposed to do today? It's raining. 
Gotta go pick up the, the classic, real nifty operation. I just know that ain't gonna that ain't even gonna go. Hopefully it's gonna go right, but I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. What else? What else? Blue truck. I'm supposed to go to the blue truck. Put this fire extinguisher in there. Oh, try to get that down. Blue airline, try to twist that off. The mechanic told me to get um I forgot what the damn tool is. Wire pliers, no. Pliers. He told me to get some pliers and then I can turn it. We'll see how they work. I highly doubt it. If that, if that don't work, I don't know. But we'll go try that out. Yeah, if it stopped raining. But, anyways, let's get back onto the leasing subject. A lot of people think, and Andrew, man, I don't understand, Andrew. That's why we don't like you now, because you started talking about the leasing. Why do you guys think I talk about the leasing so bad? Even though me, myself, was successful at leasing. I successfully leased my new matter trailer and got the title. That's right. Got the title. I made a ton of money. Uh, once I got the title, I made a ton of money off the trailer. So why do you guys think I hate leasing so bad? Because every time I see one of us go to somebody's lease program, it usually ends very, very badly. Every time. It usually ends. Whew, boy, I can mm. it, it ends it ends extremely bad. We're just gonna say that for you know for for multiple drivers. It, it it don't end normally. It don't end like when you quit a company job. You know, you quit a company job, nothing really happens. You don't you just go find another when you quit a leasing job, boy, it'd be bad, boy. Deep in the hole, you owe them for these repairs. No paychecks coming through. Man, it just be ending so badly. And I'm like, brother, we can avoid all that. We, we can avoid all that by just never showing back up to Lisa's truck again. You can avoid all that. Do y'all know, man, you can go buy a truck, $10,000, $15,000, and you probably do way better Dang you why just just taking a lease around. Why don't you why don't you guys try it? I know majority of the, 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 the people that right now they on YouTube, they they don't have no we ain't even gonna get into it. I understand a lot of people is against it. Why don't you try it one time? Maybe it might work for you, man. Why don't you go out there and get you one of them trash, raggedy trucks with everything hanging, duct tape, all that. Why don't you go try that? See how it works out. You know, just go and give it a try. You, you tried everything else. You can try the leasing 30 times. That ain't never worked out. I'm just saying, why you don't try Cash Truck? You don't try your Cash Truck. Now, let, let me specify what Cash Truck means. <laughs> cash Truck means you, you, you worked a job. You saved up some cash. It don't matter how much money you saved. And you went and got the title for a truck. It could be any age truck. Uh, it could be Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner, Volvo. It could be any type of truck. It just means you went and cashed out on the no kit. That's all that means. Okay. I'm just saying that. I know that ain't going to work for some. Hey, hey, Andrew. It's not going to work for some people. It was a guy just commented yesterday. He said, man, I went out and got me a cash truck. He said, man, I was broke down every day. Every day it was nickeling and dying me to death, Andrew. Every day I was getting nickeled and down. He said, every day I was broke down, I didn't know what to do. And I, I, I asked him, I don't think he replied back yet. I said, uh, what was breaking down on the truck so much to uh, where it wasn't, it wasn't running every day? I'm, I'm confused because I got old trucks. And I myself have not personally got to tell people that same story. You know, I wish I could tell that story. Hey, man, I got old raggedy trucks and... Every day I'm broke down. Every day, man, it's nickel and dime middle death, man. I I can't make no money with my cash trucks. I ain't been able to tell that story yet. And I got three trucks with three different engines. You know, I got, you know, you guys know I own, I own like 30 tires at this point. I got three trucks, 30 tires. Oh, and then I got a trailer, 40 tires maybe. 40 tires. 30, 40, how many tires I got. And I ain't hearing not one issue paying for a tire. And I own like 40 of them. Not one issue. Tire pop, go get another one. Nigga, yeah, I get all the life out of my tires. I do. I squeeze the Oh, I need a tire right now on the flat top. 
The flat taught me to tell right now. I'm talking about the flat top me to tie right now. Tales from a truck driver. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But if you do know, do not put it in my damn comment section. Down there in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I know y'all laughing right now. For the owner operators. Down there in Atlanta, Georgia. We ain't going to tell what type of people these are. We going to say the, uh, we going to call them the, uh, the people that Andrew like, they usually work on his trail in the oil field down in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> you pull up to the tire shop. You ask, hey man, no, nah, I don't want to buy no tires. I need to get some air in the tire back here. You know, I need to, I need, you know, I need to get air, some air back in my tire. What's that? I need to go over to that, that building over there, the one all the way over there with no cameras, the one with all them them people over there. Look like they working real hard out there. That building over there, not this building. I'm gonna go over there. Cool. I'm gonna go over there and give me some tire, some air in the tire. Go over there to the building with the air and the tire. <laughs> yep, um, just need some air back in the tire. Back up, boss. Give me some air in the tire. Oh, and uh, you got cash up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend, you got cash up, buddy. Yeah, yeah, give me. I need put about three of them. Three of them. Yeah, go and roll about three of them in there. Yeah, yeah, about three of them. Mm -hmm. You need about 150? Cool, yeah, 150. All right, cool. Yeah, on down the road. So that, that's all I'm saying. So you know, sometimes we got good tire connections. That's all I'm saying. But it, we, I done told y'all over and over and over again, boy, this is a dirty game in trucking. We ain't never been able to make no money in a legal, you know, 100 percent, you know, chest up, chin up, clean street way. We ain't never been able to do that. We always had to do some funny business to stay in business. If you ain't doing no funny business, you must be out of business, okay? That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, 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 don't, don't get mad at me. I know that ain't what y'all ain't trying to hear that. You ain't got the... Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, okay? Now, I just found some cheap labor. I Zimbabwe, brother. That's my new mechanic. He all the way from Zimbabwe. That's right. He gonna be the new mechanic. For the low, for the very low, Ooh, Zimbabwe, and he come up to the house too. He do. If I want to come to here, come to the house. But I ain't got nothing right here. All the freaking, all these cars and freaking filled out of parking spaces. We got no space in the driveway. We need to spin, spin the driveway a little bit more. Shit, no damn space. It's all good though. I freaking extended the driveway. They went and bought more cars. I'm like, man, what the hell? Why? What? what? That was not the plan. They didn't bought one. Three cars. Ain't about three cars. Right, man. Oh, speaking of three cars, man. So, y'all know UPS, they had that strike, right? They did. They had that strike. Uh, man, that, that them Teamsters, boy. Them Teamsters, boy. I forgot all about them. Y'all know my brother. Y'all be asking me, man. Andrew, man, what, what y'all do your brother got? I thought I told y'all before. My brother started at UPS in 19... 99 we're in 2023 okay in 1999 my brother now i don't know i don't know what ups offers right now okay i'm talking about when 1999 happened okay they offer pension plans 401k they offered a dollar raise for every year that you stay for life so every year that goes around, you get a dollar raise, plus all the raises they give out throughout the year. So for example, um, if y'all ever did package handling, like I was working at FedEx, I, I didn't go to UPS, I went to FedEx. When I was at FedEx, let's say the holiday season will be coming up like September, they would get a whole company like a 50 cent raise, you know. He would get those raises too, on top of the fact that he get a dollar raise too, okay? On top of that, he got into the stock program with, with, where he could buy stocks at a discount. They just, every time he get his check, 
it just take a I guess a small percentage and he buy UPS stocks and from 1999 to 2023 all you know UPS stock just went straight up and he just been collecting and baking baking and collecting collecting and baking and you know here we are in 2023 he just told me hey man you know the teams is one I said, what, what they win? You know, because he's part of the team. So he's the original teamster. He said, yeah, man, we want to strike. I said, oh, what strike? I didn't. Oh, yeah, UPS said, well, on strike. So what does that mean? He said, yeah, man, we get a bigger raise. <laughs> he started celebrating. I'm like, oh, so, hmm. I didn't even know, you know. I, shoot, I, I didn't personally care about the strike, but I'd be forgetting. He, my brother's part of all that stuff, so. Yeah, they the UPS just got. I guess I don't know. I think it's company worldwide. If you work at UPS, they all got this big raise and bonuses, and he, he's making an absolute killer. My brother, uh, he makes way more money than me. I don't think I'm ever gonna catch him in life. So you know, for the people that know my brother, y'all know, you know, we ain't catching him. We, we just we, we not catching him. So, anyways, now that we got that out the way. Okay, so. That's right. That's right. And, and no, he's not a truck driver with UPS. I don't know exactly what his position is at UPS, but he don't drive trucks, though. You know, he started out as a package handler. I don't know what he does now, okay? I don't know. I don't know what he does. I just know that uh, he made way more and got way more than we ever going to get, okay? That's 20 something years of stock and full 1K and. We're not going to catch him. Okay. And then that's that stock from the 90s all the way to 2023. From 401k to freaking a pension plan and freaking, you know, UPS. I'm just saying. Just, we're not going to catch him. Okay. Not going to catch him. And then, you know, unless UPS turn into yellow. Which it, it definitely don't look like that's going to be the situation. He's almost at retirement anyway, so I don't think he cares, you know. But enough about my brother. What are we, 20 some minutes in here? What's the next subject? The next subject. Oh! Oh, some of you guys seen me over in the Facebook group, American Fuel Haulers. Y'all see me post that question, what's the uh, the average weekly pay of a company fuel hauler around the world? And, you know, a lot of people were saying $28 an hour over in California. They have to like 33 34 an hour. Majority of the people say they take home between 1900 to 2000 It was like 1% of uh, fuel haulers that was doing like 3000 a week. And then the owner operators was right at 4000 you know, just doing power only with the tankers, but majority of the company drivers, like I said, they're between 1900 and 2000 a week, which that's been the pay since I've been, uh, since I had my CDL, that was always the pay for fuel haulers, so I just thought something had changed to where they was paying way more money for fuel, um, but nope, nothing changed, it's, it's been the same, $28 an hour, I know I personally messaged, uh, the loves right here where I live and they told me twenty eight dollars an hour. I said, Hey man, is that a difference between if I haul this plug and that plug? They said, Nope, twenty eight dollars an hour. I was like, Oh, okay. Well, that don't interest me. You know, I make more than that right now. Moving along, moving along oh, but that is a good job for a lot of people. That is, that is. So I, I would promote that myself if you guys want a good company job, uh it's five days a week, you know. Look into fuel hauler. Buy your house. Uh, Loves, Marathon. Marathon pay good, too. Uh, that's another one. Start with uh, a D, Dupree. Dupree? Dupree Logistics? They good, too. Okay, so Dupree, Marathon, Loves. Pilot, didn't, it, Pilot wasn't, they, they wasn't really up there. Pilot wasn't up there. I don't know what's going on with Pilot. They wasn't up there. Marathon was at 130 a year. Lowe's was at 100. Pallet was at 80. I don't know. No, 89. Pallet was at 89. I don't know what's up with Pallet. Dupree, I forgot, but that's looking real good. I live beside all the freaking fuel haulers, too, right here by TSU, by my college right here. You know, they they take on owner operators, too. 
um, the ones over here by my house do. You know, they all, they only take the flat top though. That's it, cause it's got the flat roof, so like if it don't need the fuel rack with that. Is Andrew interested in fuel hauling? Nope, not at all. Not at all. Uh, it's a good job. It's a good job. If I didn't have no trucks, I would go do it. Yeah, if I didn't have no trucks, no authority, no way to make more than two thousand dollars a week, I would go do it. Okay, I would. I would go do it. Uh, why? Because I got experience at it, not with fuel, but with chemicals. Yeah, I know I was a chemical hauler, flammable, straight bore tanker for a whole year, four months. It was a good job for me. Very, very dangerous. I know if at any time if that chemical tanker would have just went a little bit sideways, I was going to die. It was going to explode. I was going to die. Okay? If I took a curve a little bit too fast and it just tilted a little bit, it, I was going to die. Okay? It was going to blow up. Okay? And they let you know that. When you go, when you go through orientation over at Quality Carriers, they'll let you know. They'll let you know. Okay? No, no, no. You don't go past go. No, the fire department ain't going to make it there in time. No, the people on the interstate ain't going to... You know, magically pull over and pull you up out the flame. No, it's, it's going to blow. Okay? So, uh, you got to weigh the risk versus reward. Okay? I'm in my 20s. Do you want to haul a bomb uh, in your 20s until you turn 40? I think you got a lot more life to live. So, you know, right now you're young. You're going on vacations, having fun. You know, not such a good idea. Okay? I did it before. I know how dangerous it is. If I was in my 40s, it'd be a little bit different. Yeah, I would go do that and probably finish my career out that way. But in my 20s, uh, man, we've been seeing too many guys in their 20s go pick up that bomb in the Northeast. And usually it ends with them going over a bridge and it exploding. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so it's a lot of risk. And uh, I'm just saying. Okay, but I did it, though. For a whole year. In four months, okay. I did, I did it, and that was with a straight board taker. These fuel, they the fuel containers, they not straight board, they are uh, baffles. They got the baffles in them, so I guess the product don't really move like that. Andrew had the straight board with the flat top, so my product was going every which way. And yeah, yeah, in four months, so I'm overqualified to get the job, baby. And I got a clean MVR, clean background, nine years of driving experience. I'm overqualified. To do those jobs. How do I know? Because they keep messaging me back. I'm like, hey, 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 so you want the position or you don't? Hey, 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 hold on now. Hold on now. You got more money than what you offer? I'm just saying, 20 ain't enough. I'm just saying, you got more money than what you What the hell is he doing? Oh, flat beard coming through. Where the hell is he going? Coming down the neighborhood with his flat beard. Hmm. What's the next topic, man? What's the next topic? It's steady raining today, man. It's time for me to get my fat ass in the gym. Don't y'all think? We in August, man. School about to start. Kids getting ready to go back to school. They are. They are. They're going back to school, you know. Truck drivers. If you want to go back to school, it ain't too late. You can go ahead and roll right now. Y'all got CDLs. Use them CDLs to pay for school, man. Use the CDLs to pay for school, man. Andrew, may, may, he may just go out to his pilot license. You just never know it, Andrew. You just never know, you know. I know some of you. Hey, man, he capping. He capping. He capping. It only costs $300 for me to take the first flight in now. That's all you need. $300. That's all it takes. I mean, that's all it costs. To go do a discovery flight is only $300, okay? So at any given time, all I got to do is pay $300 and I'm in there, okay? So then I think that's everywhere, you know. If wherever y'all at, just type in discovery flight near me. It's usually about $300. You can get up there, $300. You be in the driver's seat, okay? So I'm just saying it ain't, it ain't $3 million, $300, okay? Well, we got that out the way. Fuel is at four dollars a gallon. What are you going to do to survive? What are you going to do to survive? It's 
Some of y'all just throwing in the towel. Y'all, you're throwing in. You say, I, I can't take it no more. I'm throwing in the towel. I don't want to drive trucks no more. I feel you, man. I feel you. I feel you. Nothing wrong with not wanting to drive trucks no more. Nothing wrong with that. I know a lot of people gave up. A lot of people in my circle gave up. They don't drive trucks no more. They they can't take it no more. They surprised I'm still in trucking. They surprised I'm still in business. I said, yeah, yeah. I'm. Why, Andrew, why, why don't you throw in the towel, Andrew? Come on, Andrew. Well, when you don't throw in the towel, man, you got three raggedy trucks. Don't make them make money. They all part. Why, Andrew, why you don't throw in the towel? Come on, Andrew, throw in the towel and come over here and get this this, this freaking $2,000 a week job, man. Come on, Andrew, throw in the towel, man. Give up, man. Give up. Come over here with us. Over here, Mr. 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 Uh, Mrs. Smith. Come work with Mrs. Come come drive Mrs. Smith truck, Andrew. Mrs. Smith gonna make sure you well taken care of. They gonna match you for a 1K up to 9%. They gonna do this, that, and the third. Come on over here, Andrew. You gonna come out better, man. You gonna come out better, man. Matter of fact, if you compare the numbers, Andrew, you know what I'm talking about? I put 15000 in my account this year, Andrew, in this account. Andrew, how much did you put in your account, Andrew? <laughs> More than that. That's why I ain't over there. <laughs> More than that. Okay. Okay, baby. Okay. Well, Andrew, I messed up my RA, Andrew. I did. I messed up. Did you mess up your RA? Yep. Do it every year. Wait a minute. I, I just, but Andrew, now you can't. You gotta work with Mr. Smith to do that, Andrew. You got now. You gotta be a part of Mr. Smith to match out the RA. <laughs> no, man. You go to your bank, man. Just go to your bank. Tell me you want to open up an RA. Yep. Baby, nope. It's been like that, Sister Daddies. Yep. Sister Daddies. <sighs> what else? What else? What else? Oh, y'all want to know why I threw in the towel? Oh, okay. Uh, it's real simple. Uh, as long as the trucks run, I make money. Everything is paid for. The insurance is damn near free. All I pay for is repairs. And right now, it's more profit than repairs. So it's just that simple. Besides, a lot of people ain't in the situation I'm in. <clears throat> all the money I make off these trucks, I can put all the money into the stock market and just collect. Okay. That's why I got into dividend stocks. A lot of people can't do that, man. They got bills and credit cards and child support, alimony. And you guys be forgetting, I don't pay none of that stuff. So we just in two different fields. It, it doesn't make sense to me to, to just go that route, to Mr. Charlie route. Okay, it just don't make no sense. But for a lot of people, that does make a lot of sense. Okay, it's got the bills, child support, alimony, kids to feed. You know, mortgage or rent or water bill, lights, you know, that does make sense, okay? Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Nothing wrong with that at all. What trailer are you going to try out next? Let's not go back to drive in. Drive in, like I told you in the beginning of the video. Every Monday, you're going to be competing against people that just got their CDL. Do you want to do that? Do you want to compete against people that's coming off the McDonald's line getting in the trucking? Is that who you want? Is that who you want to compete against? You want to know why rates are sitting at a dollar. You, you, they just, they coming right off the plantation of McDonald's, coming right in the trucking. That's who you competing against, fool. What you talking about? Yo. They ain't showing up to pull no no RGN out of here. They ain't, they ain't, ain't nobody on the McDonald's line showing up. They ain't coming in here pulling no RGN. So, yeah, they ain't pulling no RGN. They ain't got no cryogenic tanker. They ain't got no pneumatic. They ain't got no hopper bottom. They ain't got no belt trailer. They ain't got no live bottom trailer. They ain't got no end dump. They ain't got no expandable flatbed. They ain't got no step deck. They ain't got no low boy. They ain't got no trailer with a bunch of axles on it. But what they do got is that drive van. And that reefer. <laughs> and they even got the regular flatbed. They got the general freight. 
So if you want to continue to survive in 2023, oh, they damn sure ain't got that carnival trailer that I'm going to go pick up this weekend. They ain't got that. They ain't got no damn carnival trailer from the land to the star. And that damn sure ain't working at Landstar either. I'm just saying. Landstar be having that freak, boy. Landstar got that freak, boy. I got me my money today, man. I'm going to keep this money rolling in. Rolling in. As long as YouTube cutting them checks, it's a whole new butt, baby. As long as they cutting them checks, we're going to keep this money rolling in, okay? Now, I understand you was watching Asian Mouth. And it was a cash truck driver over there, cash fleet. He had five cash trucks. He said he 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 going out of business. I, I watched the interview. I did. And I'm trying to figure out how does a cash fleet go out of business. So I was listening. I was listening. Now, now for 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 the for the company drivers that that, that that's begging, begging to go. I, listen, I understand. He had all old raggedy 1980, 1990 Peterbilts. I understand. I know that. I know. I understand. That's why he went out. Be. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Now I, I watched the whole video. Now from start, from start, from beginning to end. And I'm trying to figure out how Cash Fleet goes out of business. Cause I run the Cash Fleet. Now I'm listening. He said, "Hey man, yeah man." Uh, he said, T "TMC. They came and underbidded them. Took his accounts. Took his direct shippers. They came and underbidded them." They did, they did, they did. He was making six thousand dollars to go from, I think he said Texas to, let's just say California. And when they underbid him, he had to do that same lane for four thousand, thirty-eight hundred to four thousand. Okay, okay. So he didn't want to do that no more. So he ended up getting on the spot market for about six, seven months, and uh, he just finally said, you know what? Insurance is coming to an end. That's the part he forgot to say. Insurance is coming to an end. He don't want to renew. He don't want to renew the policy. He just gonna sit all the trucks. Uh, he may sell the trucks. He may not. <laughs> you know. But uh, <laughs> we need to change the title. Don't don't say out of business. We need another word for for those people that that does things like. Just say I'm not renewing the insurance. Don't make it seem like. You know, uh, all your trucks was breaking down and you just can't afford to operate no more. Like, dude, you can still get on that lane for 3800 to 4000 and still be in business. You could have stayed on the spot market. You could have looked for new lanes. I look for new lanes all day long. I've been looking for new lanes all year. Don't make it seem like you out of business because you just can't make it whatsoever. Nah, man, just tell, just go raise them out tell them, hey, man. You just, you know, rates is lower than you want to run for. You just, hey, dude, my insurance coming to the end, too. My insurance coming to the end in November. Now, if, if I don't renew in November, do I get an age in my interview so I can come on age in my, like all the other black people and just be like, hey, man, ain't made no money in China, man. Ain't, ain't, man. ain't no dollar, ain't no nothing. We out of business. Why you out of business for a pair? Because uh, <laughs> DAT ain't paying nothing, but you barely run DAT. I know, but they ain't paying nothing. Well, well, what about the trust? Did they break down? Nah, man, they all work. This is just, you know, uh, I can't find a driver. Well, did you look? Nope. <laughs> nah, I ain't looking for no driver. <laughs> nah, I ain't looking for no driver, but I can't find them. Good drivers are hard to come by. Would, would, would the I put in an application? Nah, because I wouldn't hire her. Why wouldn't you hire her? Because DAT wasn't paying nothing. Okay, well, are you going to sell the trucks? No, I ain't selling shit. So how are you out of business? I don't know, man. I'm just, it sounds good. It, it, why would I sell the trucks? They all pay for it. <laughs> I'm going to sell them in the backyard. When DET decide to pay something, that's when all of a sudden I'll be right back in business. So you're not really out of business. You're just parking the fleet. Yeah, yeah, basically. I just, yeah, man, I got all this money stacked up and shit, I'm going to do other things, man. I'm going to you know, fly an airplane or go on vacation and do everything that most of these truck drivers can't do. Well, how is it out of business? I don't know, man. It just sounds good. It's sound good. It's, it's a catchy title. It make everybody click the video. Out of business. Out of business. It just sounds good. 
Will Andrew go out of business in November? Just paid my last insurance payment to Progressive. That means from now to the end of November, we don't have no insurance to pay. We only have to pay for repairs. That means I'm just running and collecting at this point. But will I go out of business in November? Now, in order to stay in business past November, I got to come up with a down payment all over again. Well, no, I don't. I can't remember how they did it last year, but I believe I, I don't think they pay. They, I don't think they charge a down payment. It'll just roll over. So, like, come December, I believe. I don't remember how this shit worked, bro. It's been a whole year, I don't remember, but I don't believe I pay a down payment. I don't remember, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, I kept y'all rolling for 40 minutes. I'll be back later on to make some more money off this YouTube.